Did y'all follow me here? All right, that's what I'm talking about. I reacted to Chris Sell's music video, his little diss track. If you haven't seen it already, go ahead and click onto that. I uploaded it earlier today. Apparently, Chris Sales made a video called Letter to Clarence. They're reacting to each other's videos. Do they not realize that they're giving each other money, views, attention? That sounds like they're dating. It sounds like they're in love. I don't know what it is about these two, but I don't think they hate each other, quite honestly. But let's go ahead and react to this video. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. Yo, 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 it's Chris back with one more video. So, as you guys know, I reacted to a uh, Clever uh, video. I'm confused. Which reaction? I have not seen Chris Sale's videos in so long, so long. But I've noticed in his thumbnails recently, he's always in that little corner. Is that his bathroom? Is that his bedroom? Does he have his own house still? What's the deal? If y'all know, comment below and let me know what this little room is. But something about this room he loves so much because he likes to film there all the time. A little uh, odd. <laughs> I want everybody to know I'm in there with this. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I have it better than the What? Have y'all not had one of these or haven't tried it? Y'all yeah, have to go try it. I mean, look, huh? What? What um, are yeah, you I saying? Know. I don't understand you. What taste? What? What's that like, flavor on my feel? <sighs> Anyways, this is why I don't like the boy. He's just rambling on about some bullshit that has nothing to do with the video. And he's doing this because he's trying to make his video last 10 minutes. For those that don't know, if you want to get monetized, it has to be more than 10 minutes long. So this is what he does. Like I said, I know I did a reaction video. Um, like I said, it's for entertainment purposes only. Just to make you guys laugh, just to see you guys happy. It's the, it's not really, I don't want you guys to pick sides. I don't want y'all to hate Clarence. I don't want y'all to hate me. Even though y'all already hate me. So it's kind of like a lose lose. <laughs> but. I don't hate you, I just don't I like you. That. It's just <laughs> funny, you know, it's funny. Um, okay, he's about to hit us with. He's about to hit us with an ad right away. Okay, go ahead, hurry up. I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's good for me because I get a laugh out of it. Like, it's really, it's really funny, like, both parties. Both sides is funny, there's no real beef, bro. I don't got no beef. I don't got no money on my head, I hope. But no, that's no real beef at all. He always and says I that. I you guys understand that because I know some people say, what if you take it seriously? You know, but I do, I do understand that like certain stuff we do or that I do could affect, I'm not going to speak on nobody else, but I can speak on me. Certain stuff that I do can affect my child or even his brother, uh, Legend. So I do have to be mindful mm -hmm. of certain things I put out. That's why I don't go too far. You know, I don't take no, you go far. Like, you, you've always had this problem, Chris. You never thought about your family. You forget that these videos surface the internet for the rest of your life. Forever. Forever. Your kids are gonna get older and then they're gonna find these videos. These videos are gonna be talked about and it's just an embarrassment, y'all. They're just some things that you cannot film. You know how many things you know how many things I wanna talk about on video, but I choose not to because I know it can affect others around me. So I don't. You gotta be careful, Chris. Yes, I don't go Come too, on. too far. Grow the fuck you know, up. I could have said some stuff plenty of times. I could have said some stuff and it would have been like, dang, that was ball, like, that was a below the belt or whatever. You know, but I'm not gonna take it there. Even though he did it, he, he, so he did it wrong. He, he hit below the belt. That nigga said, I'm about to take, uh, let me get off. I gotta put a uh, legend, baby Chris to bed. Like, that, that was funny, that was funny. But, um, uh, hold on. Come on, man.
Where you at though? That's all entertainment purposes, bro. I don't mean no harm. I think it's funny. I hope you guys think it's funny. I hope you guys are laughing at it. I hope y'all not really behind y'all screen watching getting really mad. So that'd be weird, you know. <laughs> getting mad at people you don't know. Like, I don't know, that's just weird. But um <laughs> his face. I know they just posted when the share room said that uh I made I went live. I just went live and was like, uh I let's do a boxing match. Whoever win get queen, whoever lose that little lesbian. <laughs> you know, but uh it was this is fake. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm That's not funny. serious guys. I'm just playing. He's a troll, you guys. I don't know. If, if you think I was serious He's a troll and he clickbaits the fuck out of his videos. Just like that diss track. It was not a diss track. That's just what he does. That's why his views have gone so low. People get tired of that bullshit. Hey, that's something wrong. Because at this point, you're just making videos to make money. Which is all great and dandy, but don't forget how it all started. And actually appreciate your supporters. That was definitely just playing. I really want them to be happy at the end of the day. I'm just, literally, I was just playing. Um, I can't stress that enough. I say that a lot because I can't stress that enough because I really do just be playing. Y'all may think I'm serious when I be, I really just be trolling because it's funny, you know? Um, I think it's just funny. People troll, you know, make money off of me. You know, why not make money out of this situation too? And why not have fun with it? And not why, why not entertain y'all? I feel like that's just, this is a win-win situation. Y'all be entertained. Y'all on your phones watching, laughing, talking about this. And some people that's mad, some people that's actually enjoying it. <laughs> but like I said, I don't want nobody to choose sides. This is not no thing where Oh, I'm about to go over here on Chris' side. Or oh, I'm about to go over here on Claire's side or Queen. I want everybody to, I want. I really want it to be mutual, but I know that's going to be hard in the type of world we live in because everybody's in competition, everybody's this, that. But really, if everybody really came together, it would be so much... I feel like, like that would be an accomplishment, you know, like a goal. You want everybody to hold hands and sing Kumbaya? Since when, Chris? Since when? I feel I feel like he's trolling right now. That's how I feel. Be all at the same table. You know, something like that, you know. Um That ain't gonna happen. Like I said, bro, like I like I said, I'm 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 down repeating it. Everything was for entertainment purposes, it's just funny. Don't mean no harm, I did I'm sorry if I offended anybody. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not sorry. Look how long that part. I don't care if I offend y'all. I don't know why I'm having fun. He's having fun. I'm pretty sure he's not getting mad at nothing. I'm pretty sure he's over there laughing. Um, yeah. Um, I got a new video coming This up. is the thing. Even though they're enjoying or entertaining us or enjoying this whole conflict, this whole little drama that they got going on, there is some truth in that. Because if there wasn't, they would be friends right now. They would be talking right now. I don't think they ever met in person. I know Clarence never wanted to, but he's gonna have to give in because their kids are brothers. He's gonna have to be around them eventually, at least one day. So if y'all really didn't have beef, if y'all really think this is funny and this is all jokes, y'all would be friends right now, but that's not the case. So there's truth into all this bullshit. Oh, hey, Anupa, Anupa, actually, I have a whole album coming up, guys. You know what I'm I work really hard. I've been working hard solo. Don't that I do like. I like his music. Listen, I don't got no manager team. I don't have no label. Independent. The only person that's really been helping me is my mom. She's been helping me with my emails. I love you, mom. Uh, that's the only person that's been helping me, you know, as far as business. Like, God, it's not through, I, I deal with so much. I do so much. I'm a father. And I love it. I enjoy it. I'm an artist. I do YouTube. I take care of people. I have a house, I pay bills, I go, I got to deal with court stuff, the situation with me and Queen, with baby Chris. You deal with court I stuff. I deal with a lot, you know. For it's sure. Like a whole, like a big ass toy. Definitely. Me, you know, like, a whole bunch of weight on my shoulders, but I feel like anything is possible through Jesus Christ. 100%. You know? I feel like anything is possible through Jesus Christ. You know, I got to always give glory to the men above, because, you know, that's where I come from. Um... And, you know, y'all pray for me. Pray for, pray for me for peace, you know, prosperity. I pray for y'all. I pray that God blesses everyone that's even watching this video, for real, for real. And help them 
achieve all their goals and dreams, uh, build a deeper connection with Jesus, and, you know, just be you, man. The thing about it, I'm going to always be me, no matter what people think, no matter what people say. I know people say, oh, I don't like Chris, I think Chris this, I think Chris that. People think, people don't say so much stuff about me, bro, I don't, bro, I am me at the end of the day. Good for you. And if you let As you should get be. to you, you're not truly happy with yourself, I feel like. Because I'm happy with them myself, bro. Well, good for you. That's um, good. I feel like if you allow people to bring you down based off of their poor judgment of how you are, I feel like you have, you have, you have, you have, you have to do better than that. Yeah. I used to be like that. But it got to a point where everybody in their mama was saying this. You know what I'm like, bro? That's not even true. So then I said, okay. I'm going to stop caring what they say, and I'm going to just be a troll, or I'm going to do this, and then I'll start. Exactly. That's and that's a smart move. I'm not gonna lie to you being an influencer or a celebrity You're gonna have a lot of hate towards you You're gonna have people even saying kill yourself and shit like that people are evil instead of falling victim to that and And letting it affect you in a negative way make it something make it positive play with them just like he does He trolls so like if this is what you think of me if you think I'm the villain I'm gonna be that I'll, I'll do that for you. So let's go ahead and let's play along. Why the fuck not? If that's what they already think. Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's make that money. So in some way, I can respect that. Having fun with it. I went in a depressed state of mind. So excuse me if I don't like my trolling, but I don't care if it makes me happy. <laughs> you do whatever that makes you happy at the end of the day. Trolling makes him happy. You don't listen to nobody. If somebody say, hey, stop playing basketball. I don't like you playing, but it makes you happy at the end of the day. Don't. You don't, you don't care what the people say. You keep doing it because you love doing it. You don't care what nobody say. Like, like, like me, I don't, I don't care what nobody say anymore. You can call me this, you can call me faggot, you can call me cheater, you can call me this or that. I'm comfortable with it myself. I know we all make mistakes and we grow, you know? But Claire, bro, like I said, I don't know. I don't have a problem with you. I don't know if you care or not, but I'm just putting that in the air. Um, I would not be surprised if Clarence writes a letter back to him. Y'all, I don't, I just don't know. Who else, who else? Shout out to my brother Armand and Trey too. They just dropped a uh, song. Y'all go watch that on their channel. Armand uh, and Trey. Else? Shout out to my sis, uh, Jordan. I mean, I said sis Jordan. Shout out to my sis C and Jordan. Who was my little brother Dwayne, my sister. Oh shit, so he's over here doing shout outs on his video. Okay. Yeah, Andre, all of my family members that have been supporting me through all of this, through mm. my whole journey, bro, because y'all see me grow, like y'all see me. Okay. When I was this high, heard I'm capping, bro, this height. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably done the same height, but still, y'all see me grow, y'all see me. It's like, y'all watch the whole reality show of me and Queen, we was together. That's crazy. So she's happy, you know, with somebody. I'm happy alone, you know, because I think <laughs> I have She's happy with somebody. I'm happy alone. <laughs> it didn't work out for me, and it's cool. But I found myself within that loneliness, you know, that, that time where I was with myself. Y'all watch Baby Chris grow up, y'all watch a legend, little legend grow up, but that's, that's like, you know, y'all should, should be blessed and happy and thankful that we show you our lives. For you know, sure. Y'all should be happy and grateful for that. No, because we don't have to. Not necessarily grateful, but for sure. It's not easy to be in front of the camera and sharing your lives like that. To be so vulnerable and so open to the public, to people you don't even know, knowing that you might have some criticism, some negative reactions, some judgments, that shit ain't easy. So he, he's right that, about that. You know, some people probably wouldn't care if I stop, but still. <laughs> But um, but yeah, but no, nah, it's, it's, it's everything's been a blessing. I I made it this far. I feel like giving up at times, you know, and I didn't. I kept going, you know, because I was too worried about what people was gonna think about me. I was too worried about what they was gonna say, how they was gonna judge me. But now I just don't care anymore, and that's how y'all gotta do. I always chase y'all dreams. Everybody that's watching this, um, coming out with an album, a feature album, like a lot of big artists on there. Um, the next thing we doing is a, a video. I got a video coming out. It's called Hate on. It's called uh, Hate on You. The song is hard. The song is hard. I'm sure it is. And I'm excited um, to hear it. No lie. And pretty much that's it. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep videos for y'all. Uh, y'all keep watching this. I love y'all. 
I'm about to dip. I'm about to go play the game right now. All right, well, bye. Bye. So this is why I do not like to watch Chris sales. He clickbaits everything. This was supposedly a letter to Clarence. He just touched on it a little bit. He did more of a promotional thing. He was promoting his album, giving shout outs to his friends. <laughs> like what the fuck? You just wasted 15 minutes of my time. All right, you guys. Well, anyways, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.